Hello guys, this is Code in Code and in this lecture we are going to solve this problem taken from Geeks for Geeks. And the problem is check if two line segments intersect. As the problem name, uh, name suggests, uh, we are given two line segments and we have to check whether these two line segments intersect or not. If they intersect, we have to print my uh, print 1, otherwise we have to print 0. Okay. Uh, uh, the expected time complexity is constant and the expected space complexity is also constant and x and y coordinates of the endpoints can be from minus times power 6 to plus times power 6 and this is uh, the prerequisite for this is lecture 1 and 2 of geometric algorithm series uh, in other words uh, if you are not following from my channel so in other words uh, the prerequisite is finding the uh, orientation of three points and after that we have also had a lecture on finding whether two lines intersect or not okay how to find that uh, we have covered that theoretically and this problem is actually to show you how we can implement that what we have learned in the lecture 2 of geometric series okay Ge geometric algorithm series so uh, this is the implementation of that let me explain you one by one what happens here so let me explain you what is happening here so i have four points p1 p2 p3 and p4 point is a uh, structure uh, containing two integers long long it basically uh, 64 bit integers okay so i have two uh, sorry four points which represents end point of the two segments this these two represent first segment these two represent the next two represent second end point okay i'm checking whether they intersect or not depending upon the condition it would print one and zero okay so this is the function which returns uh, true or false okay so now what is happening first of all we have learned that we have to find the orientation of uh, c and d with respect to a b and then uh, orientation of a and b with respect to c d line it is uh, line segment right that is exactly what is happening here with respect to a b line we are finding the orientation of c and d and they must be different and same goes for this uh, with respect to c d we are finding the uh, orientation of a and b if it is true if they are actually crossing each other then o1 and o2 should be different as well as o3 and o4 if this condition is met then they are definitely crossing each other that means they are intersecting and we will return true we have already covered this right why this happens otherwise what we have to do we have to check whether all four points are collinear or not and that is exactly what is uh, being tested here see if a b c are collinear and b c d are collinear that means all the four points are collinear right so a b c the the orientation of a b c is stored in here if o1 is 0 that means a b c are collinear b c d for b c d o4 represent the orientation if o3 is, uh, is equals to 0 that means if a b c are collinear equal to 0 means collinear we have already covered this in lecture 1 if uh, a b c are collinear and b c d are collinear that means a b c and d all four are collinear if i am wrong please let me know in the comment section okay so if all the four points are collinear we know we have to check for their projection the pro projection must be uh, intersecting with each other that's what we are checking here valid valid projection returns bool okay uh, we are passing the projection start point and end point of first and second segment we are checking the projection on x-axis whether they are intersecting or not and we are checking the projection on y-axis whether they are intersecting or not if they are intersecting then we are returning true from here okay we have discussed all of this otherwise if none of these tests satisfy that means they do not intersect and will return false so valid intersection simply takes the projections uh, projection start and end points so if a is greater than b basically a should be start and b should be end same goes for this c should be start and d should be end so if a is greater than b so simply swap these two because that is possible if c is greater than d then simply swap them and here it is being checked whether these two segments are actually intersecting on the axis or not okay if it is intersecting you have to return true otherwise it will return false so the rest code is already from taken from the lecture one this orientation code so nothing to explain there okay so that is exactly what we are doing here so hope it is clear so this is the problem and simply i have uh, copy pasted the code here i defined lli long long end then point and then simply copy pasted the code here and if you submit it, this, it is the same solution. You'll see that it gets accepted in 0 0.1 per, uh, one second, I guess. I don't know. 0 0.01 second. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, this is how you solve this problem. The problem link I'll be providing in the description of the video and also this, this solution link. Okay. So, 
yeah this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching uh if you still have any doubt or query or suggestion or any problem that we should take next uh, you can post it down in the comment section so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you